The Crow Corporation has recently announced plans to convert some of downtown D.C.'s municipal buildings into upscale shops and local watering holes. The recently built Albert T. Fine Building, whose architect was inspired by the Jefferson Memorial and National Gallery of Art Buildings, plans to use his recent contribution to downtown D.C. as a swingers club that specializes in speed dating. We're interrupting your program to bring you an important update from the Crow Corporation. Rarely does a group of passionate, albeit misguided people, get the kind of attention that requires a public awareness campaign to keep it from adding more passionate, misguided followers to its ranks. A group calling itself Cancer Nation, headed by a woman named Emeritus Lockshaw, has done just that. As you will see in the coming days, Cancer Nation will be asserting that the Crow Corporation, developer of the world's only cancer drug, wields an inordinate amount of power in this country. While we're not yet sure what additional criticisms Cancer Nation may have in store, we wanted to keep our citizens informed. After all, an informed and active public makes for a healthy nation. While we support free speech and understand that the grief so prevalent in our society can and does make people behave erratically, and, as in this case, opportunistically, we cannot tolerate the kind of smear campaign Cancer Nation is attempting. We therefore invite you to join us in taking a stand against this brand of domestic terrorism. If you see any members of this group, many wearing costumes like those shown in this notice, report them immediately to your local authorities. If you have any information, an anonymous tip line is available via our website. With your support, we will continue fighting the disease from which this namesake group seeks to profit. Thank you, Cyrus and Melba Crow, and their beloved mascot, the Travel Angel.